Hey, James from J. Kramer Fitness, the protein review guy. Today we are doing an unbiased review of Built with Science Beyond Pure 100% Whey Isolate. Before getting to the review, please leave a like, help my small channel grow. If you found this information helpful, making you a more informed buyer, please subscribe for if you want weekly protein reviews. I do take special requests. I want to say thank you for individuals that have left a comment or send me a message or email requesting a review. I do have it in the pipeline. With that shared, I have the full written review of Delta Science and all the protein powders that I've reviewed link down below. And of course, I have the timestamps of what I'm going to be talking about with this protein review. Is it amino spiked? How many scoops to stimulate muscle protein synthesis? How does it shake? And my recommendation if you should buy it. With that shared, let's understand what makes Bell with Science protein powder different from other brands. I'm just gonna go ahead and start off firing, letting the cat out of the bag and putting my stamp down. Belt was, I'm gonna go ahead and provide the recommendation of do not buy this protein powder. Uh, I'll explain in detail why you shouldn't purchase Belt with Science protein. Okay, here we go. With that slide stuff out of the way, what are you getting when purchasing a bag of Belt with Science? 29 grams of whey protein isolate. If you do the analysis or scanning through the page, there are no such claims of it being a New Zealand whey protein. One protein source, whey protein isolate, only four ingredients obviously that depends on the protein flavor that you select i think there's the basic chocolate vanilla and then of course the one that's been making social media waves or rounds salted caramel there are claims that the, the protein is third party tested with internationally sourced protein powder there is a certification of good manufacturing practices coming in at a whopping three grams of leucine which is very high for a non-certified or non-verified uh, protein powder with from either grass-fed from new zealand or from ireland never seen that before we'll dive more into that when we get there sharing that it comes with 6.8 grams of naturally occurring bcaas it's not finally a nod one for a canadian-based protein company built with science can only be purchased in america and i'll describe why it's i'll share why when we get to that point there are some eye raising characteristics built with science those characteristics are as follows one of the selling points of built with science protein powder is its high leucine content Research suggests that you need 25 grams of protein with up to three grams of leucine stimulating muscle protein synthesis. Out of the bag, that thing comes in, a how much leucine's in here? 3.1 leucine, 3.1, almost 3.2 grams of leucine, which is abnormally high. I do a comparison analysis between Delta Science and other known amino acids that have been certified by Informed Protein. New Zealand government and Wisconsin Board of Way. All right, let's go ahead and get into the fun stuff. Is Belt with Science third party tested? On each bag of Belt with Science, you will see three badges third party tested, CGMP, and a can proud Canadian brand. Going to the website, you will see a certificate of analysis for all the protein powders being sold by Belt with Science. That third party agency is Mariu. It's French. I can't pronounce French. Nutrisciences. There is a certificate analysis that was recently conducted as of May 2024. That was for the salted caramel. I'm pretty sure it's very different for French vanilla and the Dutch chocolate being offered through Bella Science. I am familiar with Mario Nutrisciences, so I did some research. It's pretty interesting. As of December 21, Mario Nutrisciences purchased one of NutriCost third-party labs. Diet Labs. Why is this something of interest? I firmly believe that Belva Science uses NutriCost waste, same way supplier. If you look at the two badges, maybe it's surely coincidence. This is getting into the deep state conspiracy theory realm, but I firmly believe that there are the NutriCost 90 day, which turned to 60 day, which is 45 day. Now it's slowly dwindling down to 30. I can't remember. I've done a review on NutriCost before in the past. I firmly believe that it is a low quality budget protein powder. And I think they do amino spiking. 
built with science probably uses the same way distributor. I firmly believe with the evidence I provide, a built with science is a amino spike protein powder. Built with science way amino spike. There are some bold claims being shared by Built with Science. On it, one of them is Built with Science with a beacon of truth, honesty, and transparency. Let's hold on for a moment here. The truth is, Built with Science is not a transparent company with its claims. You will see a small amino acid in the bottom left corner, and let's examine my evidence that I provide that Built with Science is an amino spike protein powder. A college professor once told me that you need three facts to support your position if you want to influence individuals. Here are my three facts that Bell with Science way is amino spike. There is an, a research article published by the BYU Scholars Archive released in June 22. That article is titled Amino Acids as Alternatives to Emulsifying Salts and Processed Cheese Analogs. One of the byproducts of cheese production is whey. This article examines how cheese manufacturers reduce the amount of sodium in whey. And cheese manufacturers want to go ahead and provide a healthier cheese. They do is they remove sodium and they use amino acids. The three amino acids cited in this article are aspartic acid, cysteine, and glutamic acid. This is why you see a high amino acid profile in Built with Science. When I contacted the representative from Belva Science, they made a claim that their protein powder is imported and is a New Zealand whey. Well, okay, well, let's go ahead and do a comparison of a known New Zealand whey. Research suggests that the average amount of leucine is usually between 9 to 11 percent for protein powders, and that should be naturally occurring with the average being 10% leucine. So I'm gonna go ahead and flash, it might just cover the whole entire thing here, but I'm gonna go ahead and share the brands that I am comparing uh, today with Bell with Science. Uh, I'm comparing, I'm using Bell with Science, and then I firmly believe that NutriCost and Bell with Science are pretty much, or I should say, Bell with Science uses the same way manufacturer that NutriCost uses. That's the reason why you see NutriCost. I'm also gonna go ahead and compare Bill with Science against Antler Farms. I imported a bag of Antler Farms from New Zealand. I also have Agent Roots, which is a certified informed protein. So the listed amount of protein and uh, on the bag has been confirmed by an independent third party. And of course my daily driver, Pure Choice Farms, they are certified by the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board. As you can see, the leucine content for all the protein powders are, the three on the right are high, but those are certified. However, the two on the left, though with signs, 10.97%, NutriCost is extremely low, 9.16% leucine. However, those two protein powders do not share where they source their protein from. We do know that Antler Farms is from New Zealand. Asian Roots shares that is from Ireland. Pure Choice Farms shares that is from Wisconsin. It is important to note that Build of Science and NutriCost lack certification supporting their protein claims. As I shared, the other three are certified. In contrast, we don't have clear information about where Bell with Science protein powder is from, raising potential sourcing concerns. And then finally, my third evidence here, as I shared, I felt like it's very unusual to see that a Canadian branded company can only is willing to sell their protein powder in the United States. Why is that? Let's go ahead and look at the Canadian rules and regulations for selling supplements versus the United States, USA's FDA regulations. Health Canada mandates that all health products, including dietary supplements and protein powders, undergo a pre-market review and receive a product license, and license before selling. The process involves ensuring that labels accurately represent the contents, including ingredients lists and health claims, and verifying that products are safe for consumption. Health Canada also requires comprehensive documentation and substantiation for all claims made on the product labels. This includes providing evidence for health claims and ensuring that the ingredients list and nutritional information are accurate. The amino acid profile is not accurate. That is a fact. When you look at the FDA labels of regulation in regards to labeling, dietary supplements include the product name, amount of dietary substance, 
nutrition information and a list of ingredients. That is it. There is no such information in the FDA saying that the nutrition facts have to be accurate. This is the reason why Bill with Science is only available in the United States. Bill with Science is not willing to go ahead and provide documentation that their protein powder can be sold in Canada. Let's go ahead and talk about Bill with Science money back guarantee. James here, uh, just give me an update on the refund process for Bell with Science. Uh, in order for you to go ahead and use the 90 day 100% uh, money back guarantee, there are a couple, I wouldn't say couple stipulations. Stipulation is, it has to be, uh, you can either get a full refund uh, by not opening it uh, to, uh, you will get a full refund minus shipping and handling if you have not used uh, over 50% of it. I got a full refund. I'll show you uh, the little email transaction I had with one with the representative with Bill with Science. However, the process is really super easy and simple, and you do end up keeping the protein powder. I ended up tossing mine. Uh, however, um, it gets a little dicey if you've used more than 50% of the protein powder. With that shared, let's get back into the review. Let's take a look at how many scoops of Bill with Science you need to take post-workout. If we were to go ahead and take that Bill with Science is 100% factual and that the protein powder is verified, there's no ifs, ands, or buts, you only need one scoop. As I shared earlier in this review, you only need 25 grams of protein with up to three grams of leucine to stimulate muscle protein synthesis. However, we are living in the real world and we know that this is an amino spike protein. So I suggest mixing Bill with Science with one cup of high protein skim milk. That will offer 1.3 grams of leucine with 13 grams to supplement the amino acid profile found in Bill with Science. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a Bill with Science protein shake. What's really nice with Build with Science is that they share uh, three different ways to go ahead and add protein to your daily regimen for food choices. You can either use a shaker, use a blender, or you can go ahead and use it versatility for mixing with protein. So what they say, use six to 10 ounces of water, milk, or your favorite beverage with one scoop as shared. If this was not amino spike, one scoop would be more than enough. So let's go ahead and use the basic one scoop here. Open it up. There is a scoop inside the bag. Well, of course, Daily Driver, Your Choice Farm Shaker Cup. Let's go ahead and grab that one scoop now. There we go, one scoop. Put the scoop back in. B, well, we'll talk more. Got the cup, lock her up, shake it up. Nice, easy 10 seconds shake here. As you can see, this thing mixes up very nicely. Uh, there are small cake bits. Let's look underneath the cap here. And what we have here, there are some small cake bits underneath. I'm trying to get the light, so geez. Well, there we go. There are some small cake bits, but I think I, it reviews very favorably. I think I gave it a very high score, probably eight and a half or nine, somewhere around there. So let's go ahead and do a taste test for Bill Witt Science Salted Caramel. This thing's been heavily advertised on social media, so I do have to give a warning. I am very stevia sensitive, and I already know, because I've done a review on this, stevia is in here, and it will come off very heavy. So here we go, bottoms up. It's there. Are, there are hints of caramel. You get that nice, sweet, gooey, gooey caramel feel, but the issue is the stevia. It's creamy. However, where it hits or where it misses is the caramel flavor. It It's to the point where the caramel comes in and then the stevia overtakes it, takes it to the ground. Would I go ahead and buy another container, Bill with Science Salted Caramel? Probably not. There are no cake bits in here. However, the salted caramel aspect of it, it's just too much for me. So I would not buy salted caramel again, just because of the amount of stevia being used in this product. All right, let's go ahead. We're getting close to another end of an unbiased protein review. Let's just go ahead and answer this question. Does Bell with Science work? I know Bell with Science does a lot of online programming. They have a very big YouTube channel. I'm not here to go ahead and critique their exercise program. However, do protein powder reviews. So of course, let's go ahead and take a look at what is wrong with Bill with Science's protein powder. There are huge amino spiking concerns. 
I believe that there is a third party conflict of interest with the current amino analysis, amino acid analysis, because of the fact that NutriCost and Delwa Sciences uses the same whey distributor. I think that the two protein powders use some form of amino spiking protein ingredient sourcing. I have no idea where this protein powder comes from. Technically, this protein powder is an internationally sourced protein powder. However, you do not see a badge indicating international ingredients with the Mystic products at all. The only thing you see is certified good manufacturing practice, which is a clear indicator that this is an internationally sourced protein. On top of that, with international sourcing, this is not a New Zealand whey protein. <laughs> There's no statement on the website. There is statement on Bill with Science, I'll flash it on the side with their FAQ. They claim that there is only 1% lactose per serving. I'm not buying that. The only time I would buy that is the protein powder is filtered through a hydrolysis or cold filtered. There are no claims of hydrolysis protein in this or hydrolyzed whey and there is no claims that this protein powder is uh, cold filter. I did experience some mild bloating with this. However, the, the statement of less than 1% per serving, I'm calling questionable on that. And then of course, finally, it's the amount of stevia in this. The salted caramel can be very off-putting and I personally do not want to go ahead and purchase another bag of Belwa Science's salted caramel. It's just too much. What does Belwa Science do, right? Hey, I love the minimal ingredient profile obviously it depends on the flavor you select salted caramel has four i do like the fact that pro, uh, the main there's only one protein source none of this blended stuff one protein source which is whey protein isolate however the issue even though this is a what did they do right the issue is the listed amount of protein per serving they do claim what was it 30 on here i'll flash it on the side here they claim a 29 grams of protein per serving I firmly believe that 29 gram uh, is an amino spiked. So even though that is a pro, most potential buyers are gonna look at the leucine and protein content and think this is a high quality protein supplement. So let's go ahead and end this review. Is Bell with Science worth it? Bell with Science offers many different exercise programs. However, as I shared in the previous section, this is not a review on their exercise programming and their workout regimen. This is strictly a protein powder review. I have significant issues with Bell with Science's messaging. Beacon of truth, honesty, and transparency. We strive to provide only objective science-based information and provide science-based information and products for anyone aspiring to become the best version of themselves. The owner sounds like a narcissist and there is no transparency with their protein powder. I know I do protein powder reviews. I'm very transparent that at the very bottom of my video description, I do share I'm part of the Amazon affiliate program. However, I'm not looking to make a quick couple bucks off of providing positive protein review. Most of my protein reviews I've done today that have been listed, I wanna say at least 60% of them I would not recommend at all. Besides, you can buy this protein on Amazon. And of course, going back to my script here, I wanna educate people to become more informed buyers so that they don't miss out on their gains and take a financial hit in their bank account. Like most, most of the protein powders advertised on social media, um, this is a big time pass. Save your money, don't do it. The messaging sounds nice, but at the end of the day, this protein powder is an amino spike protein powder, and I would not recommend it. So, coming to a close here, comment below if you use a protein powder endorsed by a social media personality or has been made viral by social media. I've had in my position now Jeff Cavalier's, whoop, right up here, Pro 30G protein powder. I have that in the pipeline I want to go ahead and review here probably in the next couple months. I also want to do a re-review of Pest Science Select because that is uh, endorsed by Jeff Neppard, who is a uh, brand ambassador, I believe, for Pest Science. The other, the other reason why I'm going to do a re-review of it is that Google deemed my protein powder review of it to be uh, not helpful and very critical, so I had to do a re-review on there. So, as always, I like to end my reviews or sharing that I do take requests. They are on my list of to-do. I do have six or seven of them I need to get through. Don't be afraid to leave a comment below requesting a special request. 
I'll add it there, but I'm just a little behind with the video, with my video reviews. I do, it does take me about a week or two to get the written review up, and then of course I have to get the protein first. So with that shared, don't be afraid to leave a like if you found this video helpful. Subscribe if you want weekly protein reviews. And as always, thanks for watching. Make it a great day.